think those are plugged in. Check, my name is Daniel, I'm better than Joe. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds about right too. Yep. Hey guys, before we get into our copy review, we just want to let you know about a podcast that we have. It's uh, on iTunes. You can check it out. Um, this week, no, actually a couple weeks back, we mm -hmm. interviewed a guy named Don Slickty. Super inspirational. Yeah. If you want to break out and do your own thing and not be a 9 to 5 person, you need to listen to this podcast. Even if you are a 9 to 5 person, he talks about some financial intelligence stuff, yeah. um, way of looking at the world that... I mean, like, finances have changed, yeah. you know? What's going on with Greece right now is going to change the way finances are done in Europe. Uh, it's going to affect the little guy. It's going to yeah. affect you and me. It's, it definitely will. And uh, we, we promised each other we would only do one sentence, but when we get into oh, this topic, it. it's like, how do we... we do. Can, I can't do it. you got to go check it out. So, yeah, definitely check it out. Uh, it was really good. So, today we're talking about an awesome uh, pea berry coffee. I Instagrammed mm -hmm. it out, so... Uh, you guys might have saw that, um, Check it but out. Uh, what uh, you want to talk about? It? It's Joel's coffee. Joel brought the coffee today, yeah. and I haven't even tasted it yet. I'm really excited. I grinded it. Oh, it had. I, I'm looking forward to hearing what what, you, what it has to say. But like the okay. smells were not necessarily fruity. I, they were. They were like, I don't know, very floral, but very like dynamic. Like I couldn't say they were nutty, but I wanted to. So I think, oh, you're tasting it. Can I, I need to get me some. Get you some. But um, I'm really excited about this coffee. Yeah, so it's good stuff. Smells amazing. So I got this from my brother-in-law. Sorry about the phone here, but the name's kind of complicated, as you'll see in a second. I got this from my brother-in-law. All the cool kids use phones. That's right, man. Um, busted my flow, man. Just go. Just So I got this from my brother-in-law, and he... Uh, he roasted it himself. He he's also a roaster, um, not professional, just like a hobbyist roaster. Oh, and so your brother-in-law roasted this. Yeah, he roasted oh, it himself. Okay. Check it out. Nice. So it's Tanzanian pulp natural igamba mpitu pitu pea berry, igamba mpitu pea berry. So I can try to pronounce those words, but I really don't know what most of them mean. If you uh, are from one of these regions and you know how to say them and what they mean, okay. um, maybe you could put a video response to this and uh, just kind of school us on some coffees. I'm sure you guys know a lot about coffees. Yeah. Um, we, I know we got some South American friends. Mm -hmm. Where is this from? This would be African, I'm pretty sure. Tanzania. Yeah. It's from Africa. So, uh, yeah, if you, we would love to see that. We'd love to promote that video, too. So Igamba uh, Mpitu, I believe. It's, yeah. It's, what it is so it's but it's a pea berry what's a pea berry okay so a pea berry is pretty simple um coffee berries are like this right here right and inside of that there are two beans and they almost look like that too um bam there's two beans in there and they grow up flat on one end and round on the other side so with a pea berry it grows up all by itself inside of this singular fruit oh, wow. okay. and it creates a round shape i loved when i first started roasting i, I roasted in a pan um like a wok and uh the pea berries were great for not burning because i would mix it with a spatula and the bees would beans would roll around perfectly right, they and they were flat on one side. yeah if they were flat on one side they would burn usually on the flat side okay Makes so sense. pea berries were kind of fun that way but man they they have much more dynamic um, flavors sometimes because they're by themselves. They basically have the flavor of two beans. Mm -hmm. So that's the deal. Um, but yeah, this is really good. Yeah, it's a uh, light roast. I could tell when I was grinding. Brings out a lot of the uh, flavor. It's notes. definitely got a, I'd say like a, almost like a green tea, mm -hmm. uh, black tea a feel to it. Right. Yeah, it's very tea-ish. Yeah, very... I, I, I wouldn't drink it with sugar or cream because I, I wouldn't want to cover that up. But um, I could see it going well with that because it does have that tea essence around it. Maybe that's a, the dynamic thing I'm getting at, like, tea essence. Mm. You know, it's like a bold... I don't know. It's really good. It's very green-tasting to me. It's definitely a right roast. Did he use an air roaster? I don't know. Ooh, you need to find out. 
Um, it tastes like it might be a little bit of an air roaster. Maybe it's a tumble roaster, but um, yeah, tumble roasters seem to uh, roast out some of that green flavor a little fast. Really? Because they roast slower. Okay. Air roasters can roast um, within seven minutes, and tumble roasters usually go like 17 minutes. Wow, okay. So there's a big difference. Right. And uh, changes the flavor up a lot. Um, air roasters are pretty religious about air roasting. They say that's the best flavor. I think air roasters have the most, the best smelling coffee. Like if you get a bag of freshly roasted air roasted coffee, okay. oh, I mean, it smells like, it Amazing. blows you away. Just like, just puts you in a trance. That's awesome. Um, but I like, I personally prefer tumble roaster um, coffee. But you know okay. what? I'm getting into both now. I'm kind of getting an acquired taste for the air roaster now. My brother, my brother from, uh, Steam whistle. So we got a bunch of we got a bunch of roasters in the family. Mm -hmm. I'm a roaster. My brother Steam whistle. Colorado's a air roaster, and then Joel's brother-in-law. So check it cool. out. Um, I need to get into it. I'm like left out over here. Yeah, we can roast together, dude. Um, we will be doing a, a future video. Nine oh nine one one getaways uh, requested that we do a video on roasting coffee. So we'll be doing that in the future. Um, and we'll let you in that. Maybe I'll let Joe, Joel do some of the roasting so he nice. can become a roaster too. So I can burn it. Nah, I won't Mess let you do up. that. I won't let you do that. <laughs> probably punch me. It's sure to get intense. So when that comes up, definitely watch it. Yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> thanks so much. And uh, leave us your favorite coffee brand. Yeah. A lot of you guys tell us like your favorite brew, like espresso or whatever. But let us know what your favorite bean is, like yeah. brand, like uh, whether it's Dunkin' Donuts or somebody a little more prestigious like Oval Dogs Coffee. Uh, just let us know. Yeah. Oval Dogs or, is me. Yeah, exactly. Or if you, say you go to like coffee shop and you buy some, some fresh beans or something, take a picture of it. Send oh, it to us. To like that. Instagram it. Yeah. And, and tag us. That'd be really cool. And uh, yeah, that'd be awesome. We'd love to see that. All right, guys. Thanks again, and we'll we'll get, we'll keep catch you on next Saturday. We're gonna have another review of the hundred days uh, challenge.